This is Raim. This. All this behind me was the site of the music festival where Hamas showed up from the skies paragliding and committed their acts of murder. Where you see in the distance there, I don't know if you could see these people uh, gathered in the flags, gathered, uh, that's where I'm told the stage was. Around me are the trees that have been planted. You can see the, for example, the, the sticks in memory of those who were murdered. The barbarism is hard to quantify, but the only way we will discuss honestly what Hamas did is as barbarism. We're not going to listen to the people who want to scream about Israel and genocide when that is not the case by any stretch. This, this is genocide. This is trying to destroy an entire people. This is what killing innocents looks like. These people came for a concert. They came to have a good time. I visited not too far uh, from here I, I would say through those trees, a bus stop that you may have seen pictures of because people ran to that bus stop for shelter, trying to just escape, trying to hide. And the bullet markings in the concrete as the terrorists were shooting into it, you kind of walk in, you make a left to the small room, and that room is where people died. The only way to describe this is a sheer act of barbarism, the most evil. In speaking to some people, uh, as I have and talking and one of our guides and others, the idea that they're still thinking about it is very real. And what would they do if there was another attack? And where would they put their family? And the safe rooms they had, well, those were on the, on the kibbutzes, kibbutzim, um, were, were designed for bombs, not for terrorist attacks. So what does one do now? They were holding people off from the safe rooms because family members, usually husbands, were holding on to the door handle because it wasn't meant to be that kind of safe room. It was meant to be a safety from the bombs. So you had stories of, and I have, I have photos of where the terrorists were shooting through the doors so that these men could no longer hold on to the handle so they, the terrorists could get in and murder everybody inside. I won't listen to Rashida Tlaib or Andre Carson talk about just th this, this idea that uh, we shouldn't even mention Hamas and it should all be about what Israel is doing. Israel is going to defend itself and Israel is going to survive because they've made this very, very clear. Israel's plan is straight up survival. And I, for one, support them in it.